Okay, Ross. Thank you again for uh, the great workshop. And uh, I just uh, wanted to ask you a couple questions. Um, one of them is actually, uh, people have been using Edward scripts uh, that you've published out there on the, on the internet for some time now, mm -hmm. but quite often they actually run into the issues with the limits. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend as a general rule, because I understand that that differs script from script, but what would you um, recommend as a uh, general rule to do, what to do when you actually encounter the limitations of the Edwards? Yeah, the limits of AdWords or are, are, are AdWords scripts are, are um, pretty infamous. But normally what I do is I, um, I'll write it for, like, for, for the simplest case and I'll break the problem down into very small chunks and try to optimize those chunks as much as possible. So, you know, for instance, if you're, if you're, checking, um, if you're checking ad groups, you want to make sure you're checking only the right ad groups and you're only checking them when you actually need to check them. So a lot of times you'll be you'll be writing a script and you'll be checking a lot of things multiple times or, or or different things like that. So that's one way. The other way is to make sure that if you can always use um, reporting instead of iterating. So a lot of times if you go you know you grab the campaign and then you grab the ad group you grab those you just step through the account. It's a lot slower than if you grab all of the data at once and process it that way. Um, so that's another way. And then um, finally you know using labels to indicate. Um, either accounts or campaigns or, or ad groups that you've already processed um, allows your script to kind of pick up um, the next time it comes through. So, so those kind of those kind of techniques. But um, you know, you're never going to be able to run AdWords scripts on a million keyword account unless or all million keywords. Um, so it's always good to kind of make sure that you're only running it on the portion of the account that you really need to run it on. All right, thank you. And we've actually seen some uh, pretty amazing live coding on the closer to the end of your <laughs> workshop. And um, I'm, I wonder how do you actually, how, how much time does it take you? Do you? Because this is not your regular job. This is not your main, main uh, yeah. job that what you do. How do you find uh, the time to do AdWords scripts and how long does it take you? Yeah, it, so it really depends on the script. Uh, the, some of the larger ones that are 400, 500 lines long, um, and I think I've even got one that's almost a thousand lines, those will take me, um, a couple days of uh, just kind of uh, every every probably eight to twelve hours of time. Um, some of the smaller ones take a little longer, a little shorter, but most of them at least four hours, if not more, uh, for each of those posts that have actual code in, um, because it takes a while to set things up and learn learn about it and, um, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty large time sink, but um, you know I kind of I enjoy it. I really like uh, doing it. And I like sharing. And I love hearing what the community is doing. So I don't know. It, it's kind of nice. Perfect, <laughs> and we're very grateful for that. Yeah. Um, another question: um, Edward Dot Scripts have uh, been with us for some time now, and um, where do you see it all going? Uh, is it is it something that maybe companies can more rely on it? Advertisers can they actually build on it? Will, will it be with us? Uh, for, I don't know, eternity or a couple more years? Or where do you see Google going with all this? Yeah, that was, so that was a big problem, um, you know, just starting the blog. Who knew, I would have no idea two years later that, um, that AdWords scripts would even still be around. Google's pretty notorious for killing their projects. But I really think they're investing a lot of time and effort into AdWords scripts. They're building new functionality in both the API and AdWords scripts at the same time. And um, I think they see a pretty pretty bright future with it. Um, but so, yeah, I think AdWords scripts are going to be around and are only going to get better. Um, and I think the API is going to kind of taper off. And I think most people, most, um, most people managing accounts are probably going to start with AdWords scripts. And if they run into limits and issues, then they're going to move on to the API. But most of them are probably going to be using scripts in the future. All right, pretty cool. So good future <laughs> to look forward to. And uh, one last question. Uh, I've, uh, some people may have tried, and me including, uh, <laughs> try to get in touch with you via your website or the codes uh, themselves, but it seems that you don't really have time to answer all those emails. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you and not to talk to you personally in a marketing festival, what's the best way to reach you? Yeah, it's, I, I know it's tough. I, um, I get a lot of comments and a lot of people asking questions and I don't have time to answer them all. But, um, you know, Twitter is a great, is a great method to get a, get a hold of me. Um, and if you, if you uh, browse around a little bit, I'm sure you can find my, my email address somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so shoot me a note, shoot me a, shoot me a tweet, um, and, uh, and I'll be happy to respond. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.